What's in a name, or should I say hurricane name? Since 1953, Atlantic tropical cyclones have been given names like Fred, Elsa, Kate, and Larry. They've been chosen from six rotating lists, and every six years you may see names from previous years, unless the storm was so deadly or costly. Then that name is retired. We'll never see another Katrina, Dorian, or Irma. But who gets the right to come up with those names? That would be the World Meteorological Organization, or WMO. It's located in Geneva, Switzerland. The names are chosen from English, French, and Spanish, since those are the primary languages spoken in the countries impacted by tropical cyclones in the Atlantic Basin. And by the way, it wasn't until 1979 that male names were added to the list. Before that, they were all female. Hmm. And if we go through 21 names like last year, an alternate list is used. No more Greek letter names. They were found to be too confusing and difficult. So how many times has your name shown up as a tropical cyclone in the Atlantic Basin? Cindy, we've seen that name nine times since the 1950s, but only three times has it hit the United States. Let's hope it stays that way. I'm Fox 4 meteorologist, Cindy Pressler.